welcome to Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley, and today I want to talk about one word. Um, it's a word um, that's the subject of a question I get a lot when I do presentations and when I taught, and the word is Sheol. Um, now, you might say, well, wait a minute, what's that word? Where does that come from? Well, it's a word that comes to us from the original uh, writing of the Apostles' Creed. Now, let's back up a minute and distinguish here. What we pray at Mass, uh, one of those two creeds, we pray at Mass every weekend. The Nicene Creed is the one we hear almost always. That one was written in the year 325 at the Council of Nicaea. That's the first draft. And it was, it was tweaked subsequently through the centuries. But that's the little bit longer one that we pray almost always at Mass. The Apostles' Creed oftentimes is prayed during the season of Advent or the, during the season of Lent. It doesn't have to be, but it, that, that's oftentimes when it's prayed. The Apostles' Creed, depending on what you read, parts of it, there are three or four segments of it. Some of it was written as early as the lives of the Apostles themselves in the first century, and some of it in subsequent generations. Um, what we believe is that it was somewhere in the end of the fourth century is when the Apostles' Creed was was kind of uh, comprised and com put together into one creed that we know today. But in that creed, in the Apostles' Creed, unlike the Nicene Creed, there's a line. When Jesus dies, we hear in the Apostles' Creed, Jesus died and he descended to hell. And so I get that question a lot. What does that mean? What do you mean Jesus went to hell? And so that's where our word Sheol comes from. Sheol is the Jewish term for that. Now, it doesn't mean hell the way we think of it, the way we think of it in terms of art and, and Hollywood with, you know, fire and brimstone and, and devils with pitched, <laughs> pitchforks and, and horns and stuff. Sheol, for in the Jewish mindset, Sheol was the place of natural happiness where souls would go until the Messiah would come on the scene to free them. So when we think back to what we call the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures, we think about people like David, and we think about people like Noah and Abraham and Moses and Sarah and Ruth and Naomi and Esther. And we think of all those people, when they died, the belief is that their souls resided in this state of natural happiness called Sheol, waiting for the Messiah to basically free them, to bring them to the ultimate reward, which is what we call heaven. And the ultimate reward is heaven is something called the beatific vision, where we get to see God face to face and in all his glory. Now, so now let's get back to the Apostles' Creed. When the early church, to recognize that Jesus was the Messiah, they said that Jesus died, he descended into Sheol, meaning that he is the Messiah. He went to that state of natural happiness where these souls have been residing, waiting for the Messiah. It's kind of like he unlocked the door and said, I'm the guy, I'm the Messiah, let's go to heaven. And he takes them all up. So that's really important to understand that Jesus, this creed is, is talking about Jesus as being the Messiah, the, the fulfillment of all of these people who are waiting for uh, their Savior to come and bring them to their ultimate reward in heaven with God, to see God face to face. I hope this has been helpful. If you uh, want to share this content with someone you think might be interested, please feel free to do so. Hope you'll follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks always for watching on Fridays. We are very grateful that you tune in. Um, I hope you'll continue to, to tune in uh, for more Fish on Fridays. In the meantime, be good to each other and God bless. Mm -hmm.